Hello, you have your very unprofessional videographer here. What we're going to do is, this is a Mosin Nagant M9130, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to ruin this gun, alright? I uh, purchased this gun for 90, it was like $94.49, something like that, okay? It's uh, 1930. Seven manufactured, so pre World War II. Um, you can see it's just the round receiver, not a hex. I've got like five more of these, they're all hexes. Um, anytime you can find a receiver on one of these, it's a hex. Flat here, flat there, and flat here. Buy it, those are getting very hard to find. Um, but when you can find them, get them. Uh, what we're going to do with this gun. We're going to cut it down into a 16 inch carbine model. So, uh, and this gun here I have chosen because it has a canted front sight. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that, but the front sight is bent to the uh, left a little bit. So, not sure if that shows up at all, but. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take it and the BATF um, standard for shortening a barrel on a rifle is with a closed bolt. So you have to make sure your bolt is in the in battery position, closed, like this. Okay. What you do, take a dowel. I'm going to get a real thin dowel, like a 22 caliber, shove it down the barrel, push it all the way in, mark it with a marker at the end, and then figure out exactly how long this barrel is. Now 16 inches should be in the front of this bolt. Should be about here approximate. These aren't exact measurements from here to about there. So I'm going to hack this much of the barrel off. Of course I'll take this barrel band and all that off and uh, the cleaning rod will come out and all that. And then we're going to hack this down into a zombie slayer because uh, with the canted front sight, it, it isn't accurate. It's not worth a shit. But for a hundred bucks, might as well have a little fun with it. So, yeah, you know, we're going to cut the barrel down. I'm going to read on the BATF website and uh, see how much of the stock I can slash off. I would love to just cut it off about here, make kind of a broom handle. You know, pistol grip. I know that's not legal, but we'll uh, we'll experiment and we'll research. But yeah, this gun is going to get ruined. Um, like I say, it's got that canted front sight. I called Sentry Arms and they wanted like 50 bucks to ship it back. Well, I paid 95 for the whole fucking gun, so I'm not going to pay 50 just to get it fixed. But uh, look forward to further videos. This gun is going to get ruined. Uh, if you're a Mosin Nagant, or Nagant, or Nagant, whatever you call it, lover, I apologize. The reason I chose this, round receiver, but it is a 1937 model. I see it's an uh manufacturer. Uh, very nice gun. It's got all matching numbers and everything. But uh, I just, I'm going to, uh, to use it the way I see fit. It's got a beautiful barrel sure if you can see that but I highly doubt it but uh, she's a she's a beauty this is a very good gun but the problem is the front sight and I'm not gonna pay all that money to send it back to Sentry and you know for a gun that I only paid hundred less than 100 bucks for so the thing to do is if you choose to make one of these into a zombie rifle all you need to do is figure out where your median is from your closed bolt, which is approximately here on this gun, to the front of your barrel, approximately here on this gun. And what you need to have is one of these, and just pull the wood off and start cutting. Now a lot of guys go, well, how do you recrown the barrel? Real easy. Um, especially if you're going to do a half-assed zombie build like I'm planning to do. You take a larger drill bit drill in, 
take a smaller drill bit, drill in, take a smaller drill bit, you get the idea. You crown it yourself. And the rest of it you take like sandpaper, heavy grit, maybe 80 or 100 grit sandpaper, start sanding. So, it's not that hard, but you know, down the pike this gun is going to get destroyed. I'm going to cut the barrel down to the minimum, 16 inch, wherever that's at on this exact gun. I'll have to measure precisely uh, so I can get the closed bolt measurement. And then we're going to cut it down. And I'm going to figure out what size uh, stock and everything else I can use. And I wish I could just cut it right here, but of course you can't. And uh, I might be able to cut maybe three inches or so off the stock here. But other thing is, if you have one of these Millsurp rifles, pull the butt plate off, which is two screws. Anytime you get one of these guns, pull the butt plate off. There's uh, many stories where Russian soldiers would pull these plates off themselves and they would store money, um, valuables, things like that, gold, and they'd hollow out a cavity with a knife, you know, hollow out a hole and shove in valuables in these guns. So if you ever buy one, pull out the butt plate. I haven't done this. Like I say, I've got, I think this is my fifth, sixth, something. <laughs> I don't even know. But for a hundred bucks, you can never go wrong. And this one, I, I really like it. I just don't want to destroy it, but it's got a front sight that's bent. Uh, and so I think we'll make her into a zombie slayer. 16 inch barrel and, uh, and a half S stock. So prepare to be amazed because this gun's getting destroyed. So, and uh, like I say, I have my trusty tool right here. It's ready to just hack through that barrel. So, yep, leave your hate comments if you like, and thanks for watching.